Hello and welcome to Super Nintendo Classics. In this installment, the game is Pocky and Rocky, released by Natsumi in 1993. This is the spiritual successor to Taito's um, 1987 arcade game Kiki Kai Kai. Pocky and Rocky is one of the first Super Nintendo cute em ups, and it's definitely a classic game that's very worth playing. Um, this game is basically an overhead shooter um, with a twist. Instead of playing as a spaceship or something like that, you play instead as a Shride Maiden or as a Tanuki or a Raccoon. Um, I'm going to choose to play as Pocky because she's the lead character and she's adorable. The storyline is, of course, very Japanese, and, you know, the Japanese love this sort of, um, you know, goblin myth mythology stuff. And, as such, um, the game is very, you know, Japanese. Uh, but the storyline is, you know, done in such a way where it's very cute and very approachable, so, um, it's spoon-fed to Western audiences who aren't very used to this sort of thing. Uh, a lot of the things that are going on in the cutscenes aren't really depicted in the in the um, translation that's going on below. Um, you know, like there'll be cutscenes where you know ghosts will be you know drinking sake and stuff like that. There's no lines about that. You know, funny stuff. Released in 1993, this game um, uses, you know, the early 90s style of anime, and I think that it just looks great in the cutscenes and stuff. Um, you know, it very reminds me of, you know, a lot of early anime um, that I saw when I was a kid, such as Rama One Half and stuff. Um, so for me, this is very nostalgic to play um, this game and to see, you know, especially Pocky here, just show her in her Shrine Maiden outfit and, uh, and all this stuff. The game is a bit unusual in that it has these cutscenes that explain a storyline in between stages. You know, this kind of game is a game that could definitely get away with not having any sort of cutscenes, so the fact that they went, you know, out of their way to, you know, really produce high quality cutscenes is really quite amazing. Um, like a lot of shooters, you have a variety of shots that you can um, have at your disposal. There's also a um, melee attack where you can wave um, your your um, anti-war um, weapon. I'm not sure what it is, a shrine main thing that they wave off to, you know, ward off evil spirits. That's basically your short range attack. Rocky, the uh, Tanuki, uh, has, you know, a short range attack where he waves his tail around. If you're not careful, this game can be challenging. It's definitely, um, you know, arcade um, inspired in not just its visuals, but it definitely in its gameplay and difficulty. Let's <laughs> go. 
As the game was not incredibly popular, um, trying to find a copy nowadays is a bit challenging as the game is, you know, fairly rare, so if you do come across a copy, you'll usually see it for, you know, quite a bit of money. But it is a very great game, so it is worth, um, you know, a li little bit of spending. There we go. Alright, so here's your first boss, who tells you he's your adversary. Very matter of fact. This guy appears to be the same sort of Japanese demon that the um, Goombas are based upon. Or he, he's holding a, um, a basket of chestnuts and spits and throws them at you. They were having a party. Meanwhile, they're all holding sake dishes. And, you know, they're all clearly drunk. <laughs> Hilarious. Now, another thing that's interesting about this game is if you have a second player, um, the game is co-op. So the game can be, you know, definitely played um, you know, with both Pocky and Rocky at the same time. This game is just a smorgasbord of, you know, Japanese mythology and um, characters that you would expect to see in, you know, um, a traditional Japanese play or something like that. Yeah. Awesome, I'm in a bamboo forest with Tengu and all this. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions about this game, uh, let me know, and once again, I'll see you next time. I love to show off, you know, these sort of obscure games that don't get enough attention. Especially games that do interesting things. This is my bomb attack. See you next time.